Hey guys, Dave here from Pangeo and Developers, and we are on location of this home transformation in New Jersey, and we are gonna do a final walkthrough. Now, every family needs space in a different way. This particular family wanted a family room with a finished basement underneath, and then they wanted to add onto their home to get a second garage with a master bedroom above. So let's turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you how we handled that, and we're gonna do a final walkthrough. So let's take a look. All right, so this was a starter home for a young family in need of more space. Now the home was basically from here over to the right side of the first garage door. The siding was existing, the stone was existing, the roof was existing, and they wanted to match up with the trim, the roofing, the siding. So what we did is we added this 20 by 20 family room with a basement, finished basement beneath. And then on the right side, we added a second garage. And then we opened up the space between the two garages. And then we put a master bedroom, bathroom above. You can see, you can not tell where the additions took place. We matched the roofing, the siding, the window trim, the grills around the windows, everything matches. And we're all set, it's turnkey. Let's go inside and we'll take a look. All right, so here you can see we added the, the existing porch was here. We added this little eyebrow going all the way across. It brings together the old and the new. We matched up the garage door that was existing. That's the new one. We matched up the grills and you can see how nice this transition came out. This family again needed another garage. They needed a master bedroom. See how nice this all came out. Let's take a look at the front of this family room. Over here, we have the awning windows down below in the basement. And then we have the dining room, uh, I'm sorry, the family room windows. You can see how nice this all came out. All right, so all this is existing. They have a lot of space in this house, but they wanted more space. And as you come into the up the stairs here, the kitchen, all this space was existing. So this is all existing space here, going up the stairs. It's a traditional split level home, three beds, and they have uh, two bathrooms here. So now it's four beds, three bathrooms. So here's where we opened up. This used to be the outside wall of the house, and you can see this beautiful archway that we created uh, between the existing and the new. And this is 400 square foot family room and you can see all the space, 10 and a half foot ceiling, gas fireplace, walk out, treks on the deck, nice big backyard. They still have a lot of space and take a look at it from this angle. This particular home we added 400 square foot. This is a family room right off of the kitchen living room area and they have a nice little space where they can walk right between the rooms. It's open, there's no uh, separation. We put in a large 12 foot archway with flanking windows, custom arch, and then in here, 400 square foot, 10 and a half foot ceiling. We have the gas fireplace, the space going out onto the deck, and there's a lot of entertaining that can go on here for the years to come. So let's continue walking through our walkthrough. All right, so here is the gas fireplace. And very simply, we have the switch here. It also works off of a remote. And that's it. Look at how fast and easy this throws off heat. So it's like a separate heating system. And we put a custom stone that the homeowner selected. We made the mantle. And then they're gonna have a hanging TV right above put the couch, the furniture. Like we said, this is turnkey. It's all set. The walls are painted, the floors are finished. It's all set for them to move in, put their furniture in and enjoy for years to come. So this particular room, due to the square footage, anything over 350 square feet or so, we like to put a separate unit in. So we have a thermostat for heating and cooling. All the vents are set up. The system is right in the basement down below. It's a finished basement. So from here over is a utility room. And then from here over to that space 
is a finished basement, which we'll go down to in a minute. And this concludes the family room. You can see how nice it is, the recessed lighting, the fan, this custom archway. Take a look at how nice this came out. It's all made piece by piece, and then we spray it. You can see how nice it came out. So this was a traditional three bed, one and a half bath roughly, where it added the master suite plus the master bedroom. So let's go upstairs and take a look. So when you're walking up into the existing, there's usually a bedroom that has to create a hallway through. We have a bedroom here, we have a bedroom here, we have a bathroom, and then over here was the, the third bedroom, but that bedroom was right in this space here. So there was a, the door was here, and then this whole corner was a bedroom. What we did is we opened the wall up. You can't even tell that there was construction done. It's so smooth, the transition is perfect. So we created this hallway right here, this door, and this opens up into what used to be one big room in the corner here. And that's not even the master bedroom. The original master bedroom is inside here. So we matched up the moldings, the paint, and you can see everything is in place. And now the hallway continues through here. And I'm just gonna turn the camera around. Look at that ceiling. There's no, you can't see the transition. You can't see the transition in the floor, the walls, everything is smooth. You'll never know that there was an addition here. All right, so here is the new master bedroom suite and it's all set up. We have the flooring done, the homeowner selects the paint, egress windows, great size bedroom. And on beyond that wall is the master walk-in, the additional closet, and then the bathroom. So let's take a look. All right, guys, so right over here is the closet space and the master bathroom. So let's take a look. You can see the recessed lighting. Everything is in place. Look at the transition here. It's perfect. Again, we took out the corner bedroom, hallway through, put our new door in, and all this space is the space over the new garage. All right, so here is the first closet. I always like to say this is the husband's closet. And you can see we have the shelving, the rods, everything's ready, it's turnkey, and you're all set for bringing your clothes in. Over here is the walk-in closet. And you know who's getting this closet. Pocket door right into the wall. And look, it's all set up. It's all part of our closet shelving package. The rods, the shelves, we have the pull down stairs into the new attic. Full length rod for the full length clothes. And it's all set up. Everything's set up. We have a utility system in the attic, HVAC heating and cooling just for this bedroom. So there's no pulling off of the existing system. You're gonna have separate systems here and efficiencies are gonna be really good. All right, let's take a look at the master bathroom. Again, another pocket door and we have his and hers vanities and look at how nice that looks. The mirrors, the lights, tiling, everything is selected by the homeowners. And look at this custom shower. All this is selected by the homeowner and we do the install. You have the lights. Look at how nice that came out. Custom tiling, the backsplash of the uh, niche and we have a dual function. So the one switch works the handheld, one switch works the rain head. The glass door is part of our shower door bonus package, all that's included. It's turnkey, we handle everything. The vanity, the toilet, the tile, the homeowners select all their fixtures and we do the install. Over here we have a little linen closet. It's incorporated into the space over here. So they pick up this space for a linen closet and it's just more space for the homeowners. So guys, this is the main portion of the addition. Now we're gonna go into the family room and I'm gonna show you the transition from the existing 
basement into the finished basement under the family room. So let's go take a look. All right, guys, so this is the existing basement. They have a utility room here. They had the, the um, crawl space under that level. This was a block, solid cement wall. They had a bench going all the way across. We took out the bench, we made the opening, and then here is a barn door, which is again on the track, and we're gonna open that up and take a look at this space. We are underground right from this level here. We put a French drain around here that goes to a sump pump in the utility closet. But look at all this space. Windows, you can tell how thick the walls are. We have 12 inch walls block. And this is a vinyl floor system with a vapor barrier. Everything's in place. The, um, also the uh, recessed lighting. And then through these doors is the utility setup. And you can see we have a furnace here. So this space is heated and air conditioned. Here's the HVAC for the for this floor and the family room. You can see everything's set up, everything passed inspection. And then we have our French drain, leads to the sump pump over there and then it gets pumped out. You can see everything is set up nice and neat. Look at how nice this came out. And we really have a, a lot of space here for this family. So guys, let's go outside. I'll show you the sides. I'll show you the back with the deck, and then we'll conclude this walkthrough video. All right, guys, so here is the second garage. Here was the original garage. This garage right here, we took the floor out. We took this wall out. We put a structural post in, structural beam, a header, and you can see, now we're gonna eventually get this floor painted with an epoxy, but you can see the transition and you can't even tell where the old and the new begin. Look at all this space, same garage door. We painted everything to make it uniform, but this is all new from this side over and we changed the floor. So everything is uniform in this space. Look at how nice it came out. All right, so here you can see now the service used to be on that wall over there. We had to move everything out, put a disconnect and extend the service. But as far as the aesthetics, everything matches all the way around here. Look at how nice this came out. Let's go around the back here. Now we had an existing air conditioning and two new units. The new units are for the master bedroom and the family room with the basement. All that's connected, nice and neat. And let's go take a look at the deck. Part of this project had to do with a, included a seepage pit and we added a seepage pit. You can see the pop-up right there. And from that pop-up 70 feet across, this whole area was a custom seepage pit. Two pop-ups and it connects to the leaders of the house. We did all that. You can see the underground right there directing the water, which will be going underground into that, into that seepage pit. All right, guys, let's take a look at this deck, all womanized, and we had the treks on the steps, on the floor, and you can see the structure of this. We put this up, we have a aluminum handrail going up, and look at how nice this space came out. Sliding door right off the back, all this space see how nice this this came out all right guys so that concludes this walkthrough for this home transformation for this family in northern new jersey and if you or your family have any questions if you want to get a transformation for your home if you're looking for funding you want to get pricing you can give us a call at 201-774-3733 again 201-774-3733 i'm dave pangione and thanks for watching Hey guys, Dave here from Pangeon Developers, and we are filming 50 to 100 videos on YouTube Shorts per month. Go to our channel, click the Shorts tab, and watch all the great videos, 15-second clips, published 50 to 100 times per month.